What's wrong? Yay, we won! Yeah! We did it! Uh huh. We're gonna go to the Valshaus and enter evil once for all. Yeah, can I rest, please? I used up a lot of my shit. Welcome back to Neverwinter Nights, Hordes of the Underdark, Arcane Archer Walkthrough. We're back to kill this fucker! Let's do it. Oh no. All of the spoopy- oh. Okay, you're just off doing whatever you want. I'm gonna drink! I'm gonna drink my magic juice. Oh god. Haha. -ha. So I've used a couple of different things to try and, uh... So what I'm looking for here, uh, fucking kill this guy. I think I can use this now. I think I'm at this point. I think we're good. Can drink my magic juice. That's rude. And then, oh, that's not okay either. God damn! Gonna drink some more magical magics. Wand of summoning, wand of missiles. What else am I gonna do? Acid arrow. Eh. Oh, he's dead! Ha <laughs> ha! Exit. Fuck you and your chicken strips. So, I decided to put on uh, the Acid Sheath, which is this green thing. Hi, Maker. Thank you for my stuff. You fucking piece of shit. Whew. We, uh... We're gonna rest. We're gonna do it. We deserve it. We are now done with the Isle of the Maker. Thank God. You're just gonna... Okay, so, fun fact. If something is feared and you own it, it will not rest with you, but the great thing is about, you know, having animal companions is you can just feed them. They do things for you, that magical food things. So he won't talk to you for quite some time. However, he will still follow you. I don't know. Okay, let's loot. Also, I like how the golems are just chilling out over there. They will not attack you for whatever reason. Oh, oh. Hey, you, can you do things for me? Because that would be great if you could. Thank you. Get on your shit. There we go. Unlocked everything. Um, boop. So, you won't really run into any other golems in this entire game, so... The specialty... Ooh, ooh. The specialty items that you got... Uh, yeah such as the hammer and everything else. Um, at this point, they're nice weapons, but they're essentially useless. Give me that. Yes, potion of heal. I don't know why he has some of these things. Did he just forget about them? I don't know. Give me your shit. Thank you. The really cool thing is that if you happen to have a high enough, um, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. What's the word I was looking for? If you are a sorcery and or wizardy person and you are strong enough for this, you can actually make a little golem that will follow you around. Unfortunately, if you're doing an arcane archer, you don't. Give me that. That's all mine. I cannot. No. Um, yeah, that's fine. So, you pay, uh, you would place certain things in uh, inside here and it would basically tell you how to do things, which is why you have an little alchemy table over there and a bunch of other things um unfortunately like i said we can't really do anything um but can you identify my stuff thank you let's see power word kill was it this one nope oh no that was not my intention let go Hmm. Yeah, we can do things with it. Make a really strong golem, actually. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do this. If you want to go and do this, I would suggest looking it up in a different location. Um, tons of things out there. The internet exists. Frankly, we're strong enough. Don't fucking need another companion. I do what I want, and I'm going to go kill what I want. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, that'll pop us up to the beginning. But you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna open up my mat not you. Open up my magical box of magics. 
this one, this one. And we're gonna go drop off the mirror. Jump into the binding, teleport. Hi. All right, let's go to door number one. Apparently everybody wants to ride motorcycles today. We're gonna go here. Magical places of magic. And we're gonna go back up here. I'm gonna go give the mirror to him. Let's go. I think. There it goes. Takes a hot minute. Mirror time. Hi, brain. Here you go. That's gross. Just. You nasty. Okay, cool. Thanks. Bye. Sweet. So this is a good time that if you want to do anything else, uh, such as exploring some of the other areas or hitting off some of the really weird things, I would recommend it because when we go back to the, um, not the gatehouse, to the temple, we are done. Hi. Uh, nope. Yep. And we're going to have a big boy fight. Yes. So that being said, before we even talk to her... Oh, look, she's here. Yay! We're going to look at some of the items that we got. <laughs> Hans. So this thing's really cool. It can be used by a Pale Master, which Pale Masters are stupid strong. If you don't know what that is, go look it up. You can also have it for a Red Dragon Disciple, which means that this is going to go on to Deacon. Um, it gives you... Plus 12 to both Concentration Spellcraft and 18 Spell Resistance? Hell yeah. Here you go, Deacon. I want you to have this instead. You can just imagine him walking around. He's so nice and sweet, and he has this scary-ass looking helmet on. Spooky. Uh, you know what? I'm going to change your bolts out, too. Let's use these. Thanks, Deacon. All right, what else did we get? Got a lot of things. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of things we can sell. Don't worry too much about money at the moment. Um, I also would highly recommend, which is probably something I'm going to do, is I'm going to go up, uh, upgrade the Asante to make it a little bit stronger, just so it's on par with my current bow. Um, oh, yeah, put that back on. Give me that. Ooh, withering. This one's really cool. It's evil land. It can only be used by a pale master. It's real strong stuff. Gloves of uh, epic concentration. So a lot of the things... Why do I have this? A lot of the things that you picked up um, at this point, sell them. So let's go upgrade my bow, and then I'll come back and talk to this lady. Gonna go upgrade my bow. I hope you're not trying to talk to me. No. No, I need to go talk to him first. You will never catch up to me. I am always the hasty. Yep, he's trying to talk to me. I'm going to upgrade. Um, Hold on. I forget that you must have it. I want to upgrade my Asante. Okay, let's see. Um, Now he has unlimited ammunition. I'm going to give it 10 mighty. Oh, I already have that. Never mind. Oh, uh, then... I'm going to give it a plus one to attack bonus. Can you, can you not? Ugh, fine. It is good you are here. They are <sighs> they are on this yeah, we're going to beat the shit out of them. Okay, so I'm real sad that I couldn't get my weapon updated. Real sad. Oh no, maybe I did. Sweet. Anyway. So at this point, we're actually going to go and uh, fight. Like, we get to control troops. So here's the thing is that if you haven't played this before, they're going to try and do a pincer. And the whole reason why they wanted to get the uh, Mind Flayers on board... Oh look! This bitch! <laughs> He's just... What are you doing? staring at me. The whole reason why they wanted the Mind Flayers on board was basically to try and get Cabalus out of the way. 
I, I really can't take you seriously because your neck is thicker than your head and not in a good way. Uh, you are the Belsheress. Uh-huh. So, as Drow do, um, she's going to try and offer you power so that way you step down, betrayal, um, and when you say no, she's going to be like, well, then I'm going to just fucking kill you, and you're like, good luck. Um... I really don't care. Like, get on, get on to it. Oh my god. Yes. I don't care. Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh my god. Okay, so apparently she doesn't understand sarcasm. Sorry, but you're just not my type. I like people with thicker faces than their necks. I'm going to send you to the Nine Hells. Which is kind of funny, considering where we're going. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Be mad about it. Okay, bye. Jesus. Okay. So. At this point. Here he comes. You get to choose where your troops are going to go. So again. Um, we get to tell them where they're going to go. Any idea of the strategy? It's going to tell you a couple of different things. I may also want to speak to reinforcements. Thank you. Bye. Ah, here we go. I recommend sending her and the golems. Well, at the very least, her back to the seer. Because, again, they're going to try and pincer through Cavallus, which, regardless of you getting the mind flares to back up, is going to happen. And they're going to try and literally snip it. Um... At least that's the idea. All right, woman. Hi. I need you to go back and protect the core. This is also timed. You need to get everybody in place as soon as possible. All right, you need to be up in the left outer tower. You're gonna be up in the left right tower. Yeah. Um, let's see. I want everybody to be in the courtyard, basically just doing these things. Yep, okay. You guys. Come here. I want you to defend the inner gates. And... Um, excuse me, get out of my way. I'm trying to talk to that guy. Thank you. And I want you to also defend our inner gates. Thank you. I'm going to talk to one of our golem boys. You're going to go back to the core. And you are going to defend our courtyard. Sweet. As for the clerics, I recommend having them here. Heal those in the courtyard. Thank you. So again, as you are the sharpshooter, you're going to want to be up in one of the outer towers. When that is done, the fight's going to start. We get some alchemy fire over here. Um, they're going to be summoning in here and actually digging under to come and get us. My recommendation is to kill the, um, ah, there we are, the commanders that are on the field as quickly as possible. Here we go. They're going to be all lining up here. So, let's buff a bit. <laughs> Protection from elements, not quite necessary at the moment. Oh no, they got rid of my wolfie. How dare. I also highly recommend using all of your wands for all of the wandy goodness. Don't need you, don't need you yet. Don't, I'm gonna sell you eventually. Circle of death, acid fog, incinerary cloud, always good things to just drop on them. Just fucking drop it. All up in their faces. Mm, time warp. I'm gonna put on an elemental shield and that will save me from quite a good bit of things. But at this point, you don't really need to buff too hard. All right. We look good. We look uh, we look ready to beat the shit out of people. 
Let me talk to my little glowing ball. Hey. Yes. Now we get to have a little cutscene. Oh no, they're so evil and, and they're coming across the Underdark and uh, yelling threats of some sort. Look at all those bats. They're so uniformed. Look at those bats. Uniformed military bats. That's right. Fly away from the stupid. I'm gonna murder the fuck out of you guys. Really? Either be killed by you or be killed by me. That's a terrible ultimatum. Gotta get better at this. Look at those little guys. I'm gonna kill them. Such a... Such a terrible ultimatum. Alright. Let's beat the shit out of some people. Oh, I wanted to be up there. That is where I'm gonna go. Oh, my elemental thing went away. That's fucking rude. Alright, here we go. Drop an acid fog on you. And then... Yeah, get rid of that one. And then that one. Do, do, do. Drop some horrid wilting on you guys. Oh, there goes my dudes. That's why we're up here. <laughs> Gonna go and kill you in the face. No, you stop that. Yep, you want to definitely get rid of the commanders. Anybody who's healing. Oh! And we're already at the part where they're going to be summoning shit in the middle. Cool. And that is exactly why I said for the golem to chill out in the center. Because I still got to kill you. You know what? Have a magic arrow. Magic ass bean. And then... Wand of fear. Uh, maybe. Fireball. Good lord, die. Have they broken the gate yet? Yep, okay. So it's your choice on this one. You can either head down and basically bring Valen with you, um, or you can stay here and keep shooting people. But essentially, you kind of want Valen to be down here, mainly because of that big boy. Can you... Can you guys mind? Excuse me, thank you. Get the hell out of my way. Gosh, move. Get, thank you. Oh my, get out of my way. All right, that's it. I'm blowing you guys up. Blowing you up. Okay, thank God. Jesus. You gotta get this, this big boy's attention. Hi, how you doing? Can you not? What have I done? Oh, shit. Well, I'm gonna load it. <laughs> oh, hell. Okay, so fun fact. If you, uh, if you misfire, because friendly fire is a thing in this, they're gonna be like, what have you done? You have betrayed us. And all of a sudden, you have to fight the forces that you... Yeah, okay. Um, saving is important, kids. I'll see you guys in just a second. <laughs> Okay, so things have gone significantly better. Um, still have a lot of my marksmen left. And I'm gonna just sit here and kill stuff. It'll be good. It'll be real good stuff. Lots of arrows coming down. Lots of dudes over here. Good stuff. Let me just, let me just shank you. Yeah, come help me, little spider. That's mine. I made him. You're doing well. Cool. Alright, back to my bow. Yes, I do actually have to put you away. I think... Did I kill the commander? I think I did. I don't know. Let's see. What else do I want to throw at these guys? You know what? Fireball. Yeah. Just gonna... Just gonna fucking blow you up. That's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna keep doing it. 
fireball for everybody. This is why I hoard things. I hoard things for the hordes. Got lots of things over here that are all my friends. Oh, did we get everybody? Oh, cool. They're retreating. So yeah, if you're able to do this correctly, um, essentially your courtyard will be fine, which is why I didn't put any troops back there. I've done this so much that I don't have to worry about defending the back layer. If you are unsure, then you can stagger out your swordsmen. But essentially, if you do this right, you go for the commander, you go for the wizard, and you go for the battle priest. AoE the bitch out of them, and then you're good. Yeah, we won. Cool. Let's go do it again. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's a side quest that I completely ignored. House Mayvir is one of the last areas of uh, drow matronness. Well, she's betraying us right now, and you actually could have gotten a heads up on this one before, because her daughter's like, hey, she's gonna do these things, so you should kill her so I can be in charge and I won't betray you. I'm like, okay, cool, I'm not gonna deal with any of your shit. Or you could do it sooner. Um, either way, she gonna die. She gonna die lots. And somehow we got the, uh, heads up about this. And we're gonna just magically crash through the door saying, I'm here to save you, Seer. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here I come. Oh, look, there I am. We have been betrayed. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't see this coming. Uh, let's see. Where is the matron? There she is. They're all rather easy to kill, actually. Again. Fireball. Fireball for everybody. I'm just gonna shoot you now. Oh, that's rude. Um, I'll drink this here in just a sec. Oh wait, maybe I don't need it. Running away! Guard me! Somebody! Drinking my juice! Fine. I have to go for this. Wait, why do I only have one? There we go. No. No. Cool, she dead. Uh, I'm gonna shoot you guys now. I'm gonna shoot you a lot. Right in the back of the head. Oh, so, oh, okay, they're gone. So if you- whoa. If you kill her, and you kill her soon, um, everyone else will just run away. And you can talk to her for a moment. Don't blame yourself, things happened, yeah, uh huh, okay. Um, you actually had a chance, I think, to rest in there. I've never tried it, just because I'm like, fuck it, let's just kill these bitches. And somehow, magically, they still did something to Kavala, so... It's gonna be a never-ending fight with them just popping out all over the place. Whoa, bright. Yes, evil laughter. Um... Go find the guys that are holding Cavallus hostage, and you'll win. That being said, if you go and free Cavallus, you are not going to be able to uh, just say, Oh! It's over, they ran away. No, they're gonna still try and kill you. Because that is what they do. I'm gonna shoot you now, in the face. If the seer dies, you lose. That's essentially what, what happens, which is why these guys are back here to kind of help you out a little bit. She's just going to keep sitting here and healing. Healing all the peoples. So I'm going to eat up the last fireball in this wand. Here you go. Fireball. Fireball. Thank you. And now I'm going to run. I'm going to go run and fight Cavallus and save him. Because this is what I'm doing. Bye, guys. Wherever he is, where is Cavallus? Or maybe I just need to kill him. Um, can you guys not? Running. Running away. Ah oh, well. Nope. <laughs> Killed it. Killed the dead. Heal me! Let's see. Uh, you can have my latch magical arrow of magics. I'm gonna find all my AoEs. Gonna find my AoE. 
Circle of Death. Nope, that's not it. Mm, nope, don't need Energy Drain. That is a single target. Give you an Acid Bomb. Here you go. You get to have that. Another Horrid Wilting just for you. Here you go. Merry Christmas. Gonna give you... Can you... Why are you shooting me point blank? Are you just really dumb? Even I know to switch to weapons. Put down, put down. I'm just gonna chill out right here with the seer. This is what I'm doing. What the hell? Okay. I don't know where that went to, but okay. Just gonna keep stabbing you. Can you leave her alone? Leave her alone. Uh, she, are you serious? Okay, so it looks like you're stabbing him with a... Nope, you actually are just punching him. Okay. Just gonna keep doing this. Oh! Nice! You guys are just back there. Do you know what friendly fire means? Nope. You look like a porcupine now. Stab you! Stab you a lot. Stab you in the face. Beautiful. Did he die? He did. Ugh, fine. Where is it? There it is. Here, wake up, dear sweet hell. There you go. No, only I can fire things with arrows. You stab it. Gonna drink my juice. Rude. There we go. I thought there was Cavallus around here somewhere. Maybe I was wrong. Yay, we won! Yeah! We did it! Aha! Uh -huh. We're gonna go to the Valshoros and enter evil once for all. Yeah, can I rest please? I used up a lot of my shit. So essentially, we fought our way here. They saved us the time of trying to get there, though I don't know how we won since most of our people weren't armored, only these guys were. So much taller than her. Um, yeah. So here's the problem. We are going to be fully rested. We're all going to have all of our stuff. Um, we are about to be zip-zapped inside there and have a one-on-one -on -one with Valshares. Like this. Okay, thanks, bye! Um, it is just you. You don't get Deacon, you don't get Valen, you get your little pupper. But that's about it. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, sure. I'll, uh... I'll come and see you in your... sex dungeon, I guess? I don't know, what would this be called? She actually murders people here, so... Murder sex dungeon? Oh, lord. Uh-huh. You're so... so dramatic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Essentially, in this little red circle, I can't do anything, so she would just kill me. Hi. Um... So this is the choice where you get to like, hey, do you want to do an alliance? She's like, no. How am I? How did I get here? Yeah, I'm going to go with number two. You're full enough to bring me to, <laughs> to close enough to kill you. Yeah, huh? Yeah, no, I'm going to kill you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And boom. Yep. This is true. You know what a really big problem is, though? Um, Mephistopheles has kind of been using you this whole time. Yeah, I, she she knows what's up. Look at how bored she is. And see, she's not even going to kill me herself. And so dramatic. He's like, fuck you, no. Yeah, kill him. Yeah. His face is really kind of creepy. 
It's more the fact that he has a very, uh, prominent brow. AKA forehead. What? Nope. What are you doing? That's right, run up to him because you're not a child compared to this guy. Oop! You you're talking to the wall! You're d that's not- he's over there. He's right here. I don't know where you're looking, but he's over here. Oh lord. Here we go. So technically speaking, he can't actually leave the binding, and he's gonna explain this whole bit. But, our big boy fight with the Valshares will have to be for next time. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're really close to 25 subscribers. I'm super excited. If you guys bump it up, just two, I will play a spooky, scary game that I've never played before. I don't know which one, but I don't, I don't do well with scary stuff. I kind of throw it across the room. It's not that it scares me. It's that I want to smack it and I can't. Um, so the controller goes places. If you guys are also interested in anything else I've done, go check out Bat and Kato's 